Let's determine the percent composition of aluminum sulfate. Determining the percent composition, that is getting the percent of each element inside of this compound. Uh, I put together a couple of simple uh, steps in order to guide us through it. First, we're going to find the molar mass of each element in a compound. And so why don't we go ahead and do that first using our uh, periodic table. We're going to get the molar mass of each element. Uh, so, uh, molar mass of aluminum, it looks like it's uh, 26.98 grams. So, we're going to, we're going to put 26.98 grams, that's that. Now, the molar mass of sulfur from the periodic table is 32.07. 32.07. Point oh seven grams. Molar mass of oxygen from the periodic table is 15.99. Alrighty. And now we did that first step, which was find the molar mass of each element. Next, what we want to do is we want to determine the total mass of each element in the compound, paying attention to the subscripts. Here's what I mean by that. Paying attention to the subscripts. So you see aluminum doesn't have a subscript. That means there's just one aluminum atom. So the total aluminum is going to be 26.98 grams. Uh, our sulfur molar mass is 32.07, but we see the sulfur is inside of this parentheses, um, which has a three out here. That means that there are three of the, um, this ion, so that means three sulfurs. So this 32.07, we need to multiply by three, paying attention to the subscript. So this three applies to the sulfur and also to the oxygen. Now this oxygen, 15.99, but there are four oxygens, so I'm going to multiply that by four, but I'm also going to multiply that by three as well because this three is going to be distributed to the oxygen and to the sulfur. Distributed to the oxygen and to the sulfur. And then this four is coming from the oxygen. And so after doing that, uh, we want to determine the mass of each element by just doing the math. So I'm going to grab my calculator and I'm going to get 32.07 times 3 and that's going to give me 96.21 grams of sulfur 96.21 grams 15.99 uh, times 4 times 3 gives me 191.88 grams of oxygen and my aluminum is just one aluminum, which has a mass of 26.98 grams. And now, finally, we're going to add up the total masses of all the elements in the compound. That's going to give us the molar mass. So I'm going to add them up and calculate the molar mass, 191.88 plus 96.21 plus... 26.98 that gives me 315.07 and this is the molar mass of uh, the compound and now this is important because this is how I'm going to calculate the percent composition uh, and which is our last step calculate the percentage mass of each element. And we do that by simply taking the mass of, the total mass of each element, dividing it by the molar mass, and multiplying it by 100. Uh, for example, um, percent of aluminum is going to equal 26.98 grams divided by 315.07 times 1. And doing that in our calculator, uh, 26.98 uh, 
So divided by 3 is 15. 7 times 100 is 8.56%. And there we go. That's our percent aluminum. And then to get the percent sulfur and percent oxygen, we'll do the same thing. Uh, so percent sulfur is going to be 96.21 grams divided by 315.07 times 100. And that will equal, let's see, 96.21 divided by, here's my calculator, divided by 315.07 times 100, that's going to be 30.54%. sulfur and now I want to get my percent oxygen what I can do since all percents must add up to 100 I can just do 100 uh, minus these two what's left over is oxygen so 100 minus 30.54 minus 8.56 that's 60.9 percent oxygen but why don't we just do it the long way just to, to see if we're right. So my mass of oxygen is 191.88. 191.88. Divide that by 315.07 times 100. And then we're looking for 60.9. Let's see what we get. 191.88 divided by 315.07. That is our answer times 100, and there it is 60.9 percent. And here we go. Now we have determined the percent composition of aluminum sulfate by first getting the molar mass of each element. So Al was 26.98, S was 32.07. O was 15.99. Then we got the total mass of each element by looking at the subscripts and multiplying that by the mass of each element. So AL, no change. Uh, my oxygen, there are four of them, so I'll do oxygen times four. And then I took this, uh, this three and then applied it to the sulfur, that sulfur times three, and the oxygen, which is that times four times three. After that, I added up the total masses of all the elements in the compound. So add them all up. That the aluminum plus the total mass of sulfur, which is 96, plus the total mass of oxygen, which is 192, gave me the molar mass of the compound. That's what we just calculated. The molar mass. Um, 315.07 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of the compound. And then the last step, we calculated the percentage mass. By taking the total mass of each element, dividing it by the molar mass, uh, which is the total mass of this compound, times 100. So percent of aluminum, 26.98 over 315 times 100, 8.56%. Uh, percent sulfur, we took that at 96.21, divided by 315 times 100, is 30.54. And then finally, with the oxygen, uh, we get 100 minus the sum of these two, which gives us 60.9 which can also be calculated uh, this way, massive oxygen divided by the total times 100.